Jackrabbit's void or refund transaction function is accessed with the R icon on payment transactions and makes it easy to record and follow proper accounting principles for voids and refunds. If you use one of our ePayments partners, it integrates with our ePayments partner to process a void or refund for credit card payments from within Jackrabbit. These transactions are indicated by a green check mark in the ePayment column. While bank drafts must be voided or refunded in your Gateway Virtual Terminal or with your ePayment provider, you can easily record them on the family's account using the R icon. When the R icon is clicked on a credit card payment, a query is sent to the Gateway. The void transaction or the refund transaction window will open depending on whether the payment has settled with the merchant processor. When you are voiding a transaction, you can maintain a record of the voided payment by changing the payment amount to zero, or completely delete the payment transaction from the family record. If the credit card transaction has settled with the merchant processor, the refund transaction window will open with the payment information, including the fees the payment is linked to. Enter a note if you wish, and select the fees to refund. Change the refund amount field if they are not being refunded the full amount, and after confirming the refund total, click Next. If the fees that were linked to the payment should be left on the family's account to be paid later, select Due in the Which Fees Are Still Due box. This will increase the balance on their account, since fees that were marked as paid before the refund will be highlighted and marked as unpaid. An additional transaction of a refund overpayment will be added to the account to offset the original payment transaction. If the fees will not be due later, select the Not Due option. This will not change the balance on their account when you click the Submit Refund button. A refund transaction is added to the account to offset the original payment. A refund transaction is also added to the account to offset the original fee as it is left on the account to keep a record and is marked as paid. The additional transactions in both instances follow proper accounting principles. Clicking the link icon for any of the transactions provides more detail. In the event you incorrectly choose whether fees are due or not due, go to the Refund Overpayment or the Refund Adjustment transaction and click on the green check mark to copy the transaction ID number. Next, delete the additional transactions that were added to the account, reapply the payment to the fees, and then click the R icon on the original payment. Paste the transaction ID number into the Notes field and complete the refund to record it correctly. Refer to our Help Center for more information.